So the top four things that I look for when I step into a project are measuring the efficiency of the fixture, the spectrum to make sure that spectrum is correct um, for the stage of growth. Veg plants need, some, need different light than flower plants do. Um, the, uh, we look at the capital cost, so how long is that ROA? How, how much does the fixture cost? How much energy does it take? And how long does it take for it to pay for itself? And that's very specific to an LED fixture. Does it make financial sense to do that? And then we also look at what um, the intensity is. So spectrum and intensity go hand in hand. Metal halides for veg put out less light, so they need less, but they love a more blue spectrum. So. If you, if when people are choosing their light fixtures, if they focus on those four items, they're going to be really successful in making sure that their crop and their facility is laid out correctly. So in lighting right now, there's a big technology shift going on. It used to be everything was single-ended HPS, and those single-ended lamps put out X amount of light wow. measured in micromoles. So typically, a really good single-ended light would put out about 1,800 micromoles. Then double-ended lamps, still 1,000-watt lamps, but they came out and they put out considerably more light for the same watt. So it's how much light do you get per watt. Um, LED is the next big shift. LED is exciting because you can really dial in color spectrum, um, and then you can really drive plant growth based off of efficiency. However, there's still a lot of testing that needs to be done. The cost is still really expensive. Um, but just because it says LED does not mean that it is more efficient. Every LED is every LED fixture is different. Color spectrum is different. If you have a very red and blue heavy LED, it's going to be more efficient than a full spectrum LED is. But could that affect the plant growth? Yes. Um, plants have been grown underneath HPS for decades. They know exactly where they're getting and exactly what to expect. But LED is different. So if you haven't trialed the LED, make sure that the temperatures in your room are correct, make sure that you have the right amount of LED to replace what you were doing before. You can have, there can be massive crop failure because of it. So, yeah, so people, when deciding between LED and HPS, they have to be really careful. So, in, when measuring efficiency, um, the most important thing to look at is how many photons of light are reaching that plant canopy. So that's measured in terms of micromoles per watt. So double-ended HPS right now is at about 1.7 to 1.9, depending on the efficiency of the fixture, the reflector. And the LED, there's some LEDs hitting the, mar hitting the market now that are well over 2.0. We have a fixture that's being released that will be between, depending on spectrum, between 2.0 and 2.7. So now you're going to have a 42% energy savings to run that equipment, the, the the big piece that matters now is how much is a how much is the initial budget? Can the facility afford the fixtures? And then again, how much energy are they saving over? How much energy do they save over a period of years to make sure that that um, payback period is falls within a reasonable threshold?